Golden State Warriors guard Monte Ellis has been one of the league's biggest surprises over the first month and a half of the season. The second-year player is averaging 17 and a half points per game after scoring just under seven a game in his rookie campaign. And he recently caught up with our Angela Ties. So we're three weeks into the season. You have a banner game against the Suns. You know, you're getting by Steve Nash. You're scoring on top of Amari Stoudemire. And you had one play that was particularly sick. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Yes, I do. Oh, Dunleavy with a box out. Push ahead, Monte. Three on one as they hurry. Oh, Take me back to that fantastic play where you dunked on Leandro Barbos. It was a three on one. I had Mikael on my right and Matt Barnes to my left. And I guess he thought I was going to throw the alley to Mikael, so he was kind of you know, biting on, taking me or go back. And so then when I got to the free throw line, he was um, inside the um, charge mark. So I just took off from there. Monte Ellis brought him out of their seats at the Oracle Arena. So it's been about two years for you out of high school. Yeah. Did you ever think back then that you'd be sitting here in an NBA uniform completing plays against some of the best players in the world? It's funny that you asked that because when I was leaving my uh, my eighth grade year, going into my ninth grade, the summer of my ninth grade year, I told my best friend um, named Marlon Milton that I was going to the NBA at a high school, and we still joke about that right now to this day. What was the biggest adjustment for you coming into the pros? The big adjustment was not being the um, the star of the team, you know, playing my role of just going out doing the little things and not playing that much my first year. Your rookie season, you rode the pine for about half the year, but now you're averaging more than 17 points a game. What happened to you in the off season? What did you adjust? Everything. Um, I basically worked on my left hand the most this summer, and um, I went. I took the end of my rookie year and tried to carry over this year, and I'm doing it so far. So I just more focused on that and work on every point of my game. You're playing more minutes now under Don Nelson than you did last year with Mike Montgomery. What has Don said or done that's really clicked with you? It's just the confidence that he has in me to just go out and make plays for him and, you know, be the point guard to lead this team. It's just that we clicked the first night. He told, um, he told me what he expected out of me, what he wanted me to do for this ball club, and he just told me my role, and I was happy with it. Oh, and some have said that you are a smaller, younger version of Barron. How does that feel to be compared to him? Uh, it's an honor because uh, he's a terrific player. Um, just not offensive wise, not just basketball in general, just off the court. He's a he's a leader. He's just like my big brother when I was coming up when my brother was playing high school ball. Right to Beatrice, perfect pass. So there's been some buzz around the league about you and your teammate, third year center Andres Beatrice. Can you describe your chemistry? We just very active, um, very young. We want to do whatever it takes to help this team win, and we just do the little things. And when he sets the screen and he rolls and I find him, that's that's making plays, and that's what Don Nelson wants me to do. So it's just something that we had day one. Even when I was here last year, and he was uh, wasn't playing, we used to play three on three all the time, and you know it's paying off right now. And how do you think uh, Beedrins has improved? this season so far. You couldn't even explain it, but I knew he could do it for last year. It just both of us just didn't have the opportunity to do it. And this year Don Nelson came in and and he explained us what he wanted us to do and now we just playing the ball that we playing.